Hello and welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm an empath, intuitive card reader, and a visionary as well. I'm here today to do the general reading um, for the sign of Cancer the Crab for the week of April 24th through the 30th, 2017. I have my candle burning for those of you that are new. I do this every reading from intuitivecandles.com. These candles are 100% soy based, so they're not harmful to your health. And at the bottom, when the wax melts down, there's a uh, beautiful reveal. You receive some beautiful stones, venturine, rose quartz, a yellow agate that's still lost in my bed somewhere. Um, this is a gorgeous sunstone. It feels like marble. And this is my most recent one out of my Acadia maple syrup candle that's burning. And I've been wanting one of these for so long, and I can't believe how lucky I am today to have this beautiful pendulum. It's an amethyst. So I just like to share that with you guys. Okay, so um, the candle's burning. Smudges are back. No sweet grass in it yet. It's too early in the season. But I do have a ton of cedar in here. Some grandpa's beard. A smidgen of tobacco. And a bit of sage. And this smells heavenly. This is a campfire in the palm of my hand. The smudges are an indigenous custom in North America for the indigenous people. It has been around thousands of years, if I'm not mistaken, forever they've been doing this. It cleans out all the energies. And um, my bowl caught fire. Uh-oh. Okay, there I got it. spitting up a storm here. It didn't burn very well. I don't know why. The last two just was just like a house on fire. Come on, baby boom. There we go. A bit more. It also scientifically proven that it cleans out 95% of the airborne bacteria in your home as well. That pretty. So we have to wait for it to burn down so we get we get to our smudge here. That's a lot better. That's what I wanted to see. There we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we smudge the cards as well. And we smudge Bay of Fundy Fortunes. And we smudge you, Cancer. This is for you guys. There we go. Now that we've got everything set to right. Okay. Bear with me. One cup of tea here. Only thing left to do is to shuffle the cards. So I'm looking forward to this reading because yours truly is a cancer as well. Very strong cancer. You want to know what cancer is all about? You look me. You look up cancer, and that's me. <laughs> In so many ways. Bring forth the messages for the sign of cancer. The crab for this general general reading for the week of April twenty fourth through the thirtieth. For those of you new to the tarot community, general readings are always free because there are thousands of people that view them, and it cannot resonate at one hundred percent with everybody. If you want something personal, just for you in private. I do offer the service. The information for that is found down below in the description and the more area. Also, and I've not seen it yet because I, I, if I review my videos, I do it offline. So I've not seen this yet. I keep forgetting to check it out, but 
if uh, you see a little icon of a bell, I think it's up around here or down here somewhere, I'm not sure. But wherever you see the icon, if you click it, you'll be notified um, every time Bay of Fundy Fortunes posts anything new, just so you know that. And please feel free to subscribe to the channel as well by hitting the subscribe button. I hope this is a good reading. I really need it. <laughs> I need it. Ay vey. Nope. That didn't work at all. Please let these be the cards. The cancer, the dragon. I'm going to be stubborn today. I can't do them, guys, until they feel right. They've got to feel right. This is it. There we go. There we go. All right. Just push you guys back a tiny, tiny bit. There we go. Okay. So... On the 24th, on your Monday, Cancer. Do I dare look? I'm almost afraid to look. <laughs> I don't like Mondays. It's the worst card I can pull. Oh. Mm. Ten, of, ten of Wands, all about responsibility. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Monday's going to be like that. I just know it is. I'll be weighed down. Tuesday, Nine of Wands, all about defense. Well, so far, not liking this. Not for me. I hate being on the defense. That's more like it. Wednesday, hump day, yay. Abundance, queen of the ocean. That's a good, good card. I'm real happy to see her. Thursday, high priest. He's all about wisdom. He has been popping up in everybody's reading. Everybody. So when you see that, there's a theme going on. Oh. Not on my Friday. Five of Swords. Conflict. I ruined my Friday, my favorite day of the week. Saturday. King of Cups. He's all about understanding. And your Sunday. No. Oh, come on. See, if I wasn't an honest reader, I'd close this camera down and I'd reshuffle these all over again. <laughs> Sunday is about sadness. It's a five of cups. I just, I don't like being sad. Yeah, there's the cards. That's the reading. It is what it is. What you gonna do? Deal with it. Suck it up, princess, and deal with it. Ten of wands, responsibility on Monday. It's gonna be a tiring Monday. I think I already know what this is about. So when the card shows up, it's predicting uh, burdens. You're feeling burdened, weighed down, overloaded, um, confusion, brain fog, exhaustion, feeling pressure, and blocks in the way. That just sounds like a typical Monday to me. <laughs> really. The advice of the card, you have to set some boundaries um, to reduce the stress that's going on on this Monday. And you may need to say no to certain people. Um, where re requests will come in or, um, you know, sometimes people want to chat me up and stuff and I've got too much to do. You know, there's some people I make exceptions for, but overall I can't sit for an hour and chat with somebody, um, online or anything. It's just, it's too long. Like I said, there's exceptions, right? Those that we would talk to as long as we need to talk to or want to, but like I can see that happening to me. Um, a lot of communication coming, um, and there's just too much to do. Feeling under the gun and feeling under the pressure. Normally, I work pretty good under pressure, so that's not an issue for me. It's when everything else around me doesn't cooperate. So this may be going on, too, for some of you as well on Monday. Not wasting any more time on that card. Nine of Wands, about defense. I'm not liking this anymore either, and uh, there you go. 
so you're going to be feeling um, the challenges when it comes to work. You're going to be feeling um, protective. You're going to be feeling rigid. These are your keywords. Uh, the advice of the card is to place what is yours in the place of priority. Um, you, you may need to prioritize. I just got a deja vu here reading this card. Oh, how odd is that? That's never happened before. Was this going to be history repeating itself on Tuesday? You got to put yourself first. You have to take a deep breath and you have to take and put yourself first so you can be a benefit to everybody else that's around you in your life. Um, you need to free up some mental space as well um, to plan for the future. When you do that, it's almost like a mini vacation. You, you're like leaving here, here, to go here. Um, and it's a bit of a break mentally and emotionally. When you free up some mental space and start planning some things for the future, it's refreshing, if nothing else. So you, you're, being, you're being prompted to do that on Tuesday. Um, some of you are going to feel very protective over your job as well and very defensive. And you'll find yourself maybe defending your actions by the end of the day or the middle of the day. You could end up feeling like you have to defend your actions for things that you said or things that you did. Not saying that they were bad, but the card is saying you may have to answer for some stuff on Tuesday. On Wednesday, Queen of the Ocean, she's all about <clears throat> abundance. That's a beautiful world, a word in today's world, abundance. If you apply it, I mean, you get an abundance of bad things coming at you too. But this is not about that. She's not about this. Um, this is the mother card of the tarot. She brings a lot of happiness and abundance. And she um, also brings predictions of contentment, um, loving partners, family, everybody getting along, a lot of love reassures you also that that um, your needs are going to be met not to worry your needs will be met maybe not to directly on this Wednesday but overall your needs are going to be met um, with hard work too yeah I know all about that the uh, the other part of this is 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 that the card is here to tell you that money will flow again at a nice steady even pace so that you can make plans you can bank on things. Um, to come about to happen literally uh, along this line uh, harmony is going to rule at home so there's going to be this harmonious lull for most of you a lot of spiritual growth will happen on this day stability will be an essence that you'll be reaching for and you will find on this day as well creative juices are going to flow um, um, the advice of the card is now is the time to let yourself grow this day. Let yourself evolve spiritually. Let yourself evolve in love within your home, within your projects, in your spirituality. Your keywords are growth and nurture, home, love, comfort, and generosity. That's your Wednesday, Cancer. Your Thursday is the high priest and he represents wisdom. This is... It is what it is. Excuse me. Keywords for him. He's been showing up just about everywhere in all the readings. Educational, education and traditional beliefs are what are forefront and center here for some of you. This is a general reading. Please remember that. Um, it heralds a time of you may be getting, I don't think you're doing it on this day, but you'll be getting ready for um, ceremonies, marriages, the unity, um, values as well will come into play, personal values. Uh, the advice is to listen to your inner wisdom and know that all will be well and that you are being guided to new educational path, belief, or even a mentor or a teacher. This is going to hit for some of you because you have some things on the go and you need to learn more about what it is that you have on the go. There's an educational process 
that's going to be going on for some of you. Um, this guy here as well, very interesting, very interestingly, he stands, there's a portal, and on one side is the world of mortal man, like me right here, right now, and on the other side is the great divine, the other dimension, whatever you want to call it, the ether, whatever you want to call it. He stands in the middle, so he has wisdom from both worlds, all worlds. He has the wisdom. He can be an energy, and he's got his hand out to you saying, you come with me, you let me lead you, and you can't go wrong. I'm going to help you with the wisdom you need to get through this, um, whatever this is, on this Thursday. This is a heavy Thursday. There's a lot going on. I can tell you that right now. An awful lot going on. Um, you're going to be um, making decisions between um, school, education for study. Um, you may have several choices to make, and you don't know which one to go with. He's going to help you make some wise decisions as far as that goes. These are not major life changes, Cancer. These are little ones off to the side. Little, Some of you wanting to better yourselves or... or, or um, the final pictures to make a little bit more money, right? Um, and and that's the final goal. That this this Thursday might find you being led in a certain direction, we'll say, to to finish up and tie up these thoughts and ideas that you have, to have something more concrete to go on. But more 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 than not. For some of you out there, Cancer, this card also represents very, very strongly the unity of two people coming together, um, falling in love, planning their life, a good time. You may feel restricted by another's traditions or beliefs, though. You may, hmm, the two of you come together, you may be unified through your hearts. But there's other things you need to unify on, and, and, and one's being a little more difficult than the other. And one won't budge and they won't move. This is the way it is, is what I'm hearing. That's what you're going to be hearing. It's not you, Cancer. It's the other person. Uh, it is what it is. This is the way it is. This is the way. And remember, this is a general reading. You may take some from this and not take it all. So, have the wisdom to know better, is what I'm hearing. When it comes down to making choices and decisions, <sighs> Friday. What are you doing on my Friday? I don't want you in my Friday. Conflict, five of swords. And uh, the conflict's going on up here. A lot of it. Because it's swords. Swords are things of the mind, the conscious mind. Yes, the subconscious too, but in this case, it's all front and center. It's, it's our, our, our awareness. Oy vey. Um... You could find yourself in the middle of an argument on Friday and somebody's just hit your last nerve. I had this card. When did I have this card? A few readings back. The message is coming through the same because more or less because it's the meaning behind the card that there's going to be some conflict. There's going to be a confrontation between yourself, Cancer, and somebody else. And they're going to hit a nerve. Now, normally, let I'll use myself as an example. I'm a very patient person. Um, I, can, I can take more than the average person. Anybody that knows me will tell you that. And I often wonder if there's not something wrong with me because I can take so much stress. Um, but this confrontation, and normally you take the higher road. You have your pride. You're not going to lower your psyche down to, to, you know, rat status. Or something you know what I'm saying um you 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 can you have a rise above it all there's no need for us to fight and yet civilized and and very patient and trying to see the other side which isn't hard for someone like me I'm an empath so I always see even if the attacks on me I see where they're coming from I don't agree with it but I understand why they're feeling the way they feel um, but on this day that's going to be cut a little shorter because they're going to do or say something to you that's just, that's it. Boom, the hammer's cut. See the axe coming right down. And it's going to be probably the 
the ending of something maybe, or the turning of a corner of clarity and understanding, more understanding, that someone's going to hit a nerve and you're going to blow. See, I can't even say that for myself, but if the card says, maybe it doesn't resonate with me, maybe it won't, but you're going to blow. And you're going to basically feel afterwards that you lost control, that you lowered yourself to that level, that negative space that, that just encompassed you and came upon you, and you, you, you went right into it head first. Um, you're going to be feeling small, very small. You may even win this this confrontation, this conflict, this argument. You may win it. But the thing is, is that at what cost? And what cost to you? And you're going to be saying to yourself, I had every right to feel the way I was feeling. But I don't believe, even though I was defending myself against something really negative and really bad, I don't think I should have hit below the belt because you're going to feel like you hit below the belt. Whatever you're going to say to this other person, it's going to be the bare bones truth. There'll be nothing left to cover it up, and it'll be raw, whatever it is. And you're just going to, you just want this to end, so you just go for the juggler. And you make the cut, and you're going to feel real small for it. And you're going to be feeling, because this is can't. This is what I'm like anyway, and, and I can always give the benefit of the doubt, and then I can always take responsibility. If I feel like I went too far, and maybe I should have just shut my mouth and walked away at some point. But the the thing is, even though they had it, they they will. Anybody else you talk to this, talk about uh, this situation, they're going to say they had that coming. You had every right to say, but it won't sit well with you, Cancer. There's the thing. It won't sit well with you at all. So there's a lot of jealousy going on on this day. Feelings of uh, power, people trying to take over. Um... There'll be something coming to the surface that'll be out in the open as well. Something that was maybe not talked about. Something that was hidden from you, Cancer. Because um, maybe somebody didn't want to see you hurt. So there's been something that's been kept from you. And it's going to come to the forefront on this Friday. I'm just going to stay in bed on Friday. I'm not even getting up to deal with this stuff. <laughs> the advice of the card is to stand your ground. Be assertive. Um, and, uh, don't back away, especially with this confrontation. You're better off to stand your ground than retreat. Don't retreat. You can't retreat. You know what? And your, if your mouth runs off with you, deal with it. Deal with the fallout later. Your, uh, keywords are opposition and moving on. Safe haven. Finding peace and resolution. Another loaded card. Good Lord. Okay, your Saturday, King of Cups. At least he's kind. He's really kind. I hope this is a friend in your day, Cancer. I hope he's a friend in my day because I feel like I'm going to need it. So the king has integrity and he has honor and he's very sensitive, extremely devoted to his friends, his family, his career, whatever it is he does. He is loyal for life. He loves for life. He gives of himself for life. He sacrificed for life. Um, there's no halfway with this guy. He goes at 100% all the way. Anytime that he's in your life and you need you need him or you're dealing with him in some way, you, you never have to question this guy. His integrity is the utmost. Um, this guy feels everything very, very deeply as well, but he keeps it together. Quite opposite of the card I was just talking about. He keeps everything together. He never loses that face of... How can I say, the the feeling around this person, solid, firm foundations, strong character, unassuming, yet a very large presence. They don't have to prove anything to anybody. They are who they are. And when people meet them, they know that about this guy. All right? Um, someone to be admired and held in esteem. You're not going to get anybody else like this. As a matter of fact, Cancer, this can even be the you card. This can be you. All right. Um, the king's also here to indicate that the, the, the balance and empathy with others um, 
think fairness when you're when you're dealing with others and you're trying to find a balance and you're feeling emphatic towards them try to think balance you just need to find a balance and all will be well this guy as well also makes the ideal partner in every sense of the word romantically um family wise business wise he makes you won't get anybody more honest and more level and more real just plain normal he's a normal good human being um and maybe this is you cancer and so are you so the advice is to follow um you know your emotions there's no need to explain your feelings to anybody on this day and whatever decisions you make trust that you're right on them just say i know i'm right in doing this your keywords are fairness and empathy sensitivity loyalty and home your sunday five of cups represents sadness I'm not happy to see this I'm not happy to see that at all. I don't like feeling sad. Nobody likes to feel sad, and I'm feeling the heat off this card out of all of them. I'm feeling the heat off this card. It's very strong. Overwhelming sadness, heartbreak. Keywords are unhappiness. Feelings of dejection. Negative thoughts. Confusion. Disruption. And feeling abandoned. The advice is to look for, to go look for and accept any support. Talk to your friends, talk to your family, talk it out. Because sometimes we need to verbally be very vocal um, and hear ourselves to answer our own questions. Cards here to tell you though to give you a little bit of hope. The situation's not hopeless and you will heal. You will heal. Um, it's not even a matter of healing. What it is is as the minutes tick by, the hours tick by, the days go by, and the week goes by, you get better at dealing with it. Any sadness that is to remain that can't be rectified and fixed by the end of this day, you'll just get better at dealing with the sadness. And better at accepting it so maybe you're not folding in on yourself every 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 20 minutes crying and and feeling overwhelming sadness and it hurts to the point where it hurts to breathe the five re reveals sadness due to loss of a relationship for some it's a loss of a job as well and the five reveals unexpected breaks um, from a person or a job leaving you bereft Another meaning is um, to let go of the past. And some of you will be haunted by regret. One word I don't like in the English language. I have my favorite words and my not so favorite words. And regret, regret is something that you've done, a choice that you've made, a decision that you put forward and you followed through with it thinking it was the right thing. Just to find out you were wrong. I'm wrong at times, I'm human. I don't like to admit I'm wrong because I'm usually right. But the thing is, this is a heavy card. With, you know, um, the greatest lessons are learned in life that we learn are through those moments we feel most uncomfortable. Those were the greatest lessons that come through. Most uncomfortable. When we make mistakes, something doesn't sit right with us. If you have integrity, it can eat you up inside and you're filled with regret and it's too late. Regrets are actions and decisions that have been made and can't be renamed. They can't be taken back at all. Um, so what do we do when we're full of regrets? We've got to get something out of it. Something good. The only good thing I could think of right now are lessons learned. And the more, the stronger the regret, the more uncomfortable you are with the whole regret thought process and the feelings the more brilliant the lessons to be learned and these lessons will carry you into infinity for the rest of your life you'll be I'll never do that again that's what I'm hearing some of you saying I will never put myself through that again 
I will never do that again. I will do differently next time should the situation present itself. So anyways, Cancer, that was a 30-minute video. I'm sorry, guys. I hope, I hope you enjoyed that reading. I hope it resonated with most of you. Um, I'd like to say thank you as well to the um, <clears throat> members of uh, subscribers on YouTube and the members of Bay of Fundy Fortunes on, on the Facebook group as well. You are the foundation that holds the waters to the greatest tides and mightiest tides in the world, the highest tides in the world, the wonderful Bay of Funday. Um, without you guys, we'd be like just fish flopping around in a big mud hole. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I always mean that sincerely. It's not just part of my repertoire. I really, truly mean it. Thank you very, very much. Also, um, you can find Bay of Funday Fortunes on, on well, of course, YouTube, Facebook, Google, Blogspot, and on Twitter as well. Wherever you choose to watch videos, it's fine by me. Um, what else is there? I can't even think today. It's a busy, busy day. But anyway, I wish you all the best, Cancer. I wish myself the best. I don't want to. I don't even want to think about that week. Maybe it won't resonate with me. I'll get real lucky. Um, but um, ring everything you can that's good out of the week. Always try to look for the positive, even in the darkest times. There's always a light twinkling somewhere, and the light always chases away all the darkness and all the corners, um, darker corners of your life and what's what's going on around you as well. So for now, what I'm going to do is uh, I hope I see you back here next week because I'll be here. And uh, from the bottom of my heart to yours, I wish you all the best. Get, get what you can out of the week. And for the rest of you, if you're looking for me, you can either find me right here in my spot or walking the beach down below along the water's edge of the, the mighty Bay of Funday, because I'm always waiting on the next high tide. Thank you very much, and goodbye.